Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hourglass Pub and Coffee House. It is time for some Matt Calford improv on Friday night. So to get us started, please give it up for your host for this evening, Mr. Jack Vassal. Show of 2016. Woo! Tonight is the level three student show. It is an improv short form show. Uh, so out there, who has never been to an improv show before? Thank you. That means they get to say the next thing I wanted to say. Um, welcome. Give them some love, guys. They're their first time. Which the all means we know who Chris you are. All right, so. But because it's an improv show, everything you see tonight is made up on the spot. First time, last time, you're going to hear and see what you hear. The short form part, that's the kind of improv we're going to do. If you've ever seen Whose Line Is It Anyway, yeah. then you've seen the kind of improv we're going to do for you. A series of games, each with their own rules and parameters that we have to play in. And that's what we're going to do. It is a student show. Students will be hosting games, playing games, owning games, and killing it just for you, the groovy audience. So, I am Jack Bisson, as he said, and I got the, I have the honor of instructing them for the last eight weeks. Uh, fabulously talented group of seven, but beyond that, a really wonderful group of people who I got to play with and hang out with uh, for a couple of months, which is a wonderful way to go. So, uh, if you're here during halftime, right after halftime, we'll talk about classes then. So, there you go. Something to stick around for. Okay. So, anyway. <laughs> You, the audience, are going to be helping us out tonight by calling out suggestions. So first, I want to get you in the mode of using your vocals, all right? So we heard from the folks who, who have not been to an improv show. So I want to hear from those who have been to an improv show. Woo! That was really quiet. It could be because I have my fingers in my ears. Um, so, so OK, so that, was a little, that, that was getting us going. Now, if you came here tonight to support one of our players, on the count of three, I want you to yell out their name. And again, just getting you in the mode of calling stuff out. One, two, three. James! Gracie! I was, I was warned that James had a rather large contingent, but I didn't hear other names, and someone sniped at Gracie at the end. Good form, sir. That was just uh, waiting to the end. Hey, you know what? Whatever Peter. worked. All right, so uh, one Peter, more. Peter. Just one more, just to get us uh, warmed up, and we'll be asking you uh, for suggestions. And what we do, we just ask that you share freely. So I'm going to ask this half of the audience, when I count three, to share the person who they think makes the best candidate for the next president of the United States. If you don't like any of the current class that's running, you can call up a name of your own who you think would make a better choice. All right, so get your name locked in. One, two, three. Randy! An STD! <laughs> that's a social commentary. Uh, I heard an STD, but um, that, that's, that's harsh. That's harsh. Uh, I, heard, I heard a Trump. Okay. I thought I did, but it could just be him yelling from wherever he's debating her. Right. So, same thing here. Either one of the people is currently running, which is totally cool. Um, or if you are making uh, your own protest vote, uh, call out the name of that person. One, two, three. Hillary. <laughs> you, you are alone, sir. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> um, when I say hello, I mean. So, uh, and I heard. They hear George Washington? Yeah. We only can wish. All right, so that's it. It's very simple. I'm not the one who's playing for you, so I should probably get out of the way. And that's what I'm going to do now. So, if you'll please get your hands together, because it is time to bring out the. Now, these things are here. The stars of the show. They are called Happy Play!
So, this is a game of rhyming. We are soon going to take a suggestion from you, but the first person in the line is going to start a rhyme, and the back line is going to finish the rhyme. Yeah! You there we are! Yes! You are going to be the judge. Is it acceptable? Is it not? So, for a number of reasons, you might moo. Because at Matt Calvert, we don't boo, we moo. So, let me hear your best moo tonight. Moo! If they don't say anything at all, or if it is a, a, a rhyme that somebody else used, you can. Boo! And then the point would go to the other team. If that happens, they, the team will, the losing team will rotate, and then they'll have a new person up in front. Sound good? Yeah! Yes. Awesome! Well, can I get a one-syllable first name suggestion? Bob. 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 All right, team. East Coast, you ready? Woo! Is my beatboxer ready? Oh, yeah. All right, let's get the show started. I know a guy, his name is Paul. His best friend's name is Rob. Rob. <laughs> he likes to eat corn on the cob. Mm, yeah. He also enjoys a big old shish cup. Bob! <laughs> Good catch! Good job, you said. Good job! All right, so one point for the East Coast. East Coast! First Coast! Can I get another one syllable first name suggestion, please? Rick! Rick! Rick. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to oh West Coast. Oh, yeah! Ready. Let's hear it. I know a guy, his name is Rick. He didn't feel good, he was very sick. sick. His anatomy was large, he had a big. Oh! The magician did a magic trick. He played the guitar and he had a special hit. Had a lollipop.
you want some stuff for s'mores to make you feel better? Uh, yeah. But, uh, I know I'm not supposed to be eating marshmallows, but I do like graham and chocolate. Okay, that's hardly a s'more, that's a somewhat. But I'll get you a somewhat! Okay, left two times. Alright. Okay. I only got one loss this week. That's gotta be something. I'm showing improvement. Let's okay, right. <laughs> You know, you really should go in and talk to her. She's not so bad if you just go in there. She's my mom. Why is oh. she paying me minimum wage <laughs> and you $15 an hour? That makes absolutely no sense. Well, you know, she does like to go out to the bars at night and have a few drinks. Is she cheating on my dad? Is that what you're getting at? She going out and sleeping with random people at a bar? Is that what you're saying? I don't know anything about that. Nothing. No, Is that no, no. how you got this I, job at $15 an hour? It was, it was 15 My <laughs> job. <laughs> 50 Okay, 50 So I guess okay. what I'm saying is like, it's not ideal, but I think I should get a raise. <laughs> She just called me in and she gave me another ten dollar raise. Rotate right. right. <laughs> Please try. Well, honey. You look better. I'm feeling a lot better, yes. Alright. I am. Wanna watch Ghostbusters again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got the DVD special edition? Did you get the mini marshmallows? The doctor said I could handle the mini marshmallows because they're tiny. In you know? moderation. Everything in moderation. No. A little cocoa, just a few floating on the yes. top. Yes. And uh, I put them way up so you can't really reach them up there. So don't get up the little step ladder because I'm <laughs> Well, get down. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. wait, wait, wait. Um, no. No. Oh, this is really not what I had in mind. No. I'm, I'm okay, right. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I forgot your birthday! <laughs> We're twins, how's that possible? Jesus, it's okay, like, uh, don't take this the wrong way. I forgot yours too. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No. Oh, well, look, I got you something. Even though you forgot, that's so impressive. <laughs> I'm making it up for right now. Boom. <laughs> A kitchen sink! <laughs> And when you think you have something, call out your suggestion. Keystone Pipeline. Wait, what was that, my Keystone? Yeah, Keystone Pipeline. The Keystone Pipeline. Ooh, uh, oh, shit. Okay, good. All uh, right, Keystone Pipeline, should we or shouldn't we? Yeah. Uh, that's real deal stuff. Thank you, we'll do. <laughs> that's what we'll do. But wait, 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 wait. There's, there's more I need to tell you. When all the asking and, and talking's done, you, the audience, are going to decide who's won. So, let's begin. Donna will start. <coughs> and let's hope that they all speak directly from the heart. Keystone Pipeline, to be or not to be. The Keystone Pipeline. I think that it's bad. Who needs all that oil? If the pipeline breaks, we'll be sad. And the animals will be dying. And the fish will not swim. So if we get that pipeline, it won't be a win. <laughs> the 
the Keystone Pipeline, as you can see, the Keystone Pipeline, as far as the eye can see, the Keystone Pipeline is good indeed. The Keystone Pipeline will pump as far as the reed. The Keystone Pipeline from Canada Drive will keep us in oil and keep us all high. <laughs> Don't listen to these environmentalists as they try to get you. Do we need the Keystone Pipeline? Well, you betcha. There's going to be oil for days. We're all going to be rich in that black gold, and that's the sitch. Because if you know one thing, one thing I would kill for, and it's that black, black gold, and that's what we're going to drill for. Nah. Keystone Pipeline. Now we need uh, another related question. Stop Something right. to tell us more. Oh, whoa! What? You are on top of it, my good sir. <laughs> so, forget. What was your question, sir? Dog rights. Hmm? Dog rights. Dog rights. Um, the rights of dogs. Uh, my apology. I actually want something that relates to the pipeline. Oh. A further question. That that would be an excellent uh, topic for another day. Okay. What more do you want, do you want so to know about boring. deforestation? Fracking. Oh, 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 good oh, God. So much. Uh, so much. <laughs> OPEC exports. So we're going to get. BP. <laughs> I have opened up a can of. Bluegrass. Bleep, bleep, bleep. But that's not important right now. I'm going to take over. <clears throat> Before someone has a cat. So, I heard many good things. Oh, really? Uh, we're going to go with uh, a related topic, which is the topic of fracking. Uh, your opinions on fracking. Take it away, Becky. Now, here's one thing where we're not lacking. First things first, we're going to get fracking. Break up them rocks, break them up all day. And here's what you can say hey, hey, hey. Listen up here, listen up quick. Something faster than an oil slick. We're going to get to that gas. We're going to get it real good. And it's a lot better than burning wood. <laughs> My esteemed colleague says that we need that gas. I think we need to give her idea a pass. Fracking causes earthquakes. Everybody knows. And then the ground will start moving and, and we'll have acid snow. I mean, it's kind of like acid rain when way up north. We don't have it here because, you know, we're not up north. So fracking is, is something that ruins our places. If we keep on fracking, we're going to have very sad faces. So I think we should stop and think a little bit more and think about fracking and what it has in store. Fracking rocks, bricks, sticks. Who cares? We need the oil so we can spoil all the kids in the world. Because as you can see, kids they may be, but without oil, they can't have fun with we. <laughs> so with that said, I'll leave you with this thought. Fracking is good, fracking is fine, fracking is always fun all the time. Woo! We have one final round before you decide for whom to cheer. And let's just hope that the losers are good sports. And by the winner, a beer. We start with James. Closing statement. As you can see, we all agree, fracking is fun between you and me. We'll always enjoy the time we had crushing Mother Earth and draining of all our resources. <laughs> people, it's all about our fun and all of our nice human forces. Now, there's one thing that I just can't say too soon, whether you're a fracking magnet or an oil tycoon. We need to get deep down right in that earth. 
him right where it hurts. Pill up all that black, black oil, get deep down in that dirty soil, make a lot of money, cause honey, listen up, it ain't funny. We need a little bit of fracking, a little bit of oil, and we'll all be rich and we'll get the spoils. Yeah. My opponents are crazy, and I think they're both dumb. <laughs> all this oil and gas, and we're making it come from the earth, the earth that feeds us, that where we get the sun. And when we're out of all that, you think we'll have fun? I think not. So let's go to town, then we'll see us. You know what you do? You start to drive a Prius. Oh! Okay, so when I put my hand over their head, if you think they gave the best argument, you clap. getting up on stage and forgetting their lines. And tonight, Norm has forgot all of his lines. Grace and James, though, they're going to be reading directly from these books. And Norm's going to have to try and kind of win. So can you guys just yell out one of these colors real quick? If you can. Green. 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 Gracie is going to be reading from The Rabbit Hole by David Lindsay and yes. Bear. <laughs> can I get a number? Red. Four. Four. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Another color? Yellow. 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 James is going to be reading from Dearly Beloved by Jesse Jones, Nicholas Hope, and James Wooten. And somebody wrote John Fifth. Curtis on here in pen. <laughs> Get a number. 15. 17. 13. 24. 17. 22. James, there you are, sir. And one last thing. Can I just get a setting that could fit on this stage? Living room. Living room. Living room. Living room. Living room. Best of luck remembering your lines, Norm. <laughs> Living room in three, two, two one. one. This is a really nice living room you've got here. Oh, no! I'll give you my brand new push up bra if you'll promise me I'm not looking at Osla Smoot's bean pot. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's just on TV. That's just on TV. Don't get too upset. Good lord! Yeah, this is big TV, you know. It's, it looks really nice. Even the bean pots and the. It, it don't get too upset. And you don't even know what she's talking about. <laughs> but she's on TV. She's got to know. No, I know, but... Uh, uh, spit it out. Come on, spit it out. And, and, oh, oh, I thought you didn't know what she... Uh, come on, spit it out. Don't, don't show So up. you know him. Well, he's a famous actor on TV. I'm, I'm sorry. And you brought turnips to my daughter's wedding dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Here, I've got, my, I've got some more in the refrigerator. Uh -huh. Here, have some more turnips. So help yourself, they're good. No, he didn't give me any pills. And how do you know I went from the to the doctor? <laughs> of course. Oh, well, I saw the mail that you left, in, you indiscreetly left on the <laughs> counter over here by the refrigerator. And it has all your medical diagnosis. You've been a very More naughty medical More than a boy. Chinese phone book. <laughs> yep, a lot of letters there. Sure. Yep, lots and lots of letters. You know, you, you're a pretty sick guy. Wait, what does that mean? I have no idea, but it's a really long word. We're not talking about my trip to the doctor. In my heart of hearts, I know you were trying to help, and I'm not criticizing you. <laughs> well, you didn't catch it from me, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> Hit her? Teach me to open my big mouth. <laughs> 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 
while we talk. So, on the count of three, I want you to yell, get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, I said that. One, two, three! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! are Victor and Robert. Now, from you, the audience, I need to know, what was the crime that was committed? Something you wouldn't normally think of as being a crime? Banana theft. <laughs> Stealing a banana. Stealing a banana. Like uh, crab legs. So, that is the crime, but why did they steal a banana? And keep in mind, this has nothing to do with stealing a banana. They want somebody to slip on it. Uh, let's get even further away, because sometimes we think about slipping on. Nothing to do with bananas at all. Car jacking. Faster commute. <laughs> That's just so far away we're going to go with that. Um, so they stole a banana so they could have a faster commute. <laughs> Why not? My word. Um, ha -ha. But these, uh, these two nefarious criminals, uh, over here, we have a famous pop celebrity, not Lady Gaga, who tend to get her a lot, but someone of similar yeah, stature. Taylor Swift. Kardashian. Uh, Taylor Swift. Katie Perry. Taylor Swift, thank you. And over here, a famous person from history. Let's knock out uh, George Washington, Napoleon Bonaparte. Tesla! Uh, actually, we have Tesla multiple times. And are you the same person that always gives Tesla? <laughs> Do we have uh, another Einstein? Let's go. I, I heard two Einsteins. Over here. So, so we'll go with Einstein. Ooh, uh, I've, already said, I've already agreed with these people. That's a good one. Alright, so over here we have Albert Einstein, for those who are French, Albert Einstein. So let's recap. The crime is. Banana theft. <laughs> thank you. Players, you got that? Banana theft. Thank you. And why did they steal the banana? Faster commute. <laughs> over here we have Albert And over here we have Taylor Swift. Beautiful. And now we need to bring them back in. Detectives, are you ready? All right, everybody, on three, say, get back in here. One, two, Come three. Get yeah, back yeah, in here. They should have heard that. Can't hear me from there. All right, so by coming up here, when they get close to guessing a clue, you guys. And when they get it, let's hear your crazy laugh. That way we know if they got it or not, and then move on to the next one, alright? And so, the interrogation rooms are in play. I'm putting up the room divider. So, think you're pretty cocky, huh? Cool and collected? I think you're just yellow. Yeah, I ate all the peeps. Whatever. <laughs> Just couldn't grow on trees, could ya? I don't know what you're talking about. I chopped down a lemon tree. <laughs> a nice try. <laughs> yeah. Doing all your little crimes, little, little, little chiquita, you. <laughs> yeah, okay, I stole all the bananas. <laughs> You stole all the bananas, but you just couldn't get there quick enough, could you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stealing bananas. So. Yeah, it wasn't enough that work was letting you 
expense the miles, too, was it? Okay, so maybe I took an extra long lunch break. I'm sorry. Stealing bananas? First from a commune, and then a short trip to where you needed to go. Um, I, I was abusing the company credit card? <laughs> Probably, but that's not it. <laughs> Things getting a little too backed up at the JTB? <laughs> yes, there was traffic on my commute to work. I'm sorry. Mm, that's, a, that's a pretty big problem. Yeah, commute. Somebody's spilling the beans now. I... I ran out of gas? That slowed you down. <laughs> Not quite it. <laughs> Three miles. Get your commute squared away. Optimizing your routes on Google. <laughs> so I took an extra long commute to work to get the mileage. Almost! <laughs> <laughs> you, you took shortcuts, didn't you? You wanted every green light, didn't you? <laughs> I... I took the new... JTA flyer in the bus lane? <laughs> I might have accomplished what you were hoping to do. <laughs> Maybe I said some things that might have thrown you off a little bit that the courts might think of as coercion. <laughs> so why don't we just start over again, kind of? <laughs> Maybe you just weren't happy with the route you were going. The road you were going down, huh? Okay, so I took a new way to work on my commute. Why would you do that? <laughs> because there was traffic. And the new route? Was a lot shorter. Oh. Or longer. Oh. 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 That's That's right. Right. My route to work got a lot longer, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't slower, it was... It was faster! Yeah. my thinking time. <laughs> How fast? Huh? How fast? Like, the speed of light or something? <laughs> so, yeah, faster. That really explains your last name, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, the Nestle Quick Bunny? <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping me out a lot. Thanks a lot, you. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm just... It was light year. <laughs> Why do you have to be so mean? Uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, I was just born that way. <laughs> Tell me the truth, I'm gonna let it slide. Now I understand things are tough. It's all relative. <laughs> That's my theory at least. Okay, I'm Einstein, you got me! I thought it was genius to load up all those Grammys and get there on the quickest route, didn't you? I'm Taylor Swift, I had to get to my of the world, no, of the first half of the show. So we're gonna close it out with some fast-paced, high energy coming at you in your face, something called sublime humor. So I need some suggestions from you. We're gonna start off with, come on up, everybody. I need just a letter of the alphabet. B. F. F, all right, F. Give me an object that starts with F. Fire. 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 Flint. Flint. Very good. Flint. All right, so we're gonna... <laughs> We're going to do uh, 185. 
just a random number, and it goes like this. 185, blanks walk into the room. Thursday. Bartender says we don't serve blanks here. It is going to be flutes, so let's start with flute, everybody. 185. 185 flutes walk into the bar. Bartender's like, we don't serve flutes here. And the flutes are like, blow me. So, so, so 185 flutes walk into the bar. Bartender says, we'll serve flutes here. Flutes turn around and say, fuck you. <laughs> 185 flutes walk into the bar. Bartender says, we don't serve your kind here. The flute said, why not? The bartender said, well, you're always making trouble. <laughs> Bar. Bartender says, get out of here. They say, why? Because y'all are always fingering everything. Woo! Flutes walk into the bar. Bartender says, get out of here. And the flutes are like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Before I go, a card game. Now, I want you to pick a card. First, pick a high. Now, pick a low. 185 flutes walk into a bar. Bartender says, hey, we don't serve your kind here. You guys are always broke. Flute says, I got a C note right here. Hey! <laughs> so, so, 185 flutes walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't sell our flutes here. And the flute's like, well, what's up with that? It's like, you've been banned. Ah. <laughs> ah. Awesome. New game. How many people here are single? Wow. wow. How many married people? Woo. Uh, we all remember, and you can use this. People that don't know. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. Everybody likes a good pickup line, even if they're cheesy. So let's do some pickup lines. And uh, so give me an object that's not considered very sexual. A brick. Sandwich. A sandwich. Oh. What? Ink pen. Ink pen. Ink pen is great. All right. So it's uh, I like my men. I like my women. Here we go. Ink ink pen. Ink pen. I like my women like they like my ink pens. They squirt. Oh. <laughs> I like my men like I like my ink pens. Black. Yeah. 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 I like my men like I like my ink pens. Bought by the dozen. <laughs> I like my women like I like my ink pens between my teeth. Woo. I like my women like I like my ink pens. Easily refillable. <laughs> I like my men like I like my ink pens. Sometimes they explode in my mouth. Oh. Pickup line, so that was anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Ryan. My back. So now let's go back and pick up lines. Give me another one. Brick. Brick. <laughs> hey, baby. We could lay a really good foundation. <laughs> so, um, look at this rock. <laughs> Hey, baby, I'm really hard. <laughs> so I understand you have three available holes. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to lay you down. Oh. I'd love to mold you and then fire you up. Oh, you're perfectly flat. <laughs> Built like a brick. <laughs> 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 right, 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 right. Any object? Chair. Chair. Pick up like a chair. Would you mind if I set you down on all fours? Woo! <laughs> I'd love to rub your seat. <laughs> <laughs> It's polite when you pull them out when the lady gets them. Oh, yeah. I just like to sit down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go ahead. Take a sit. I'm wrapped in leather and real comfortable. <laughs> They're hard to find, but the three legged ones are the best. <laughs> Get a drink, go to the bathroom. We'll see you back here for the second half. See ya.